What is going on everybody? I know it's been a while. It's been a long year. 2017 hasn't been nice to me, but I'm out at a cellar hole today. We are going to do some recapping at uh, Cellar Hole Silver. This is a site that I hit almost exactly a year ago today. It is October 20th. Um, weather's ridiculous. It's going to be in the low 70s, no humidity, nice little breeze. Let's take a uh, quick look at this hole again and let's see what I dig. All right, here's the outer rim of the cellar hole. Here's the cellar hole itself cutting in. I know the sun isn't in an ideal area. It's getting low in the sky, so it throws these shadows. You can see a far wall over there, uh, right there. And there's the other side of the hole. It's almost kind of a like an oval shape. I'm standing on this lip here. Uh, one of the things I want to focus on today, and that's actually the well right there. There's the MXT we'll be running my favorite girl and I think I'm going to try and clear some of this out it's tough to see but there's a lot of deadfall there's one coming in from this way one coming in from that way and there's a lot of crap that I can clear out I brought my gomboy handsaw today uh, so I can zip 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 through this but I think I'm missing a lot of relics because I can't get in there at all so let's get today started I've blathered enough let's see what I dig well nothing mind blowing yet but there's something along the travels I saved you from a couple shotgun shells I don't think anybody's hunted here in a long time, though. Oxu! Let me uh, see if I can find more of this ox on this property today. So, my next find's on a little bit of a wander through. Um, I'm trying to suss out more of this site still. I knew there was a road that came up from a different direction that I came in uh, on the first time at this cellar hole. So I wanted to go explore that and uh, see if it maybe been a cart road. And uh, It might be. Alright. Real tough to see with the sun the way it is, but this little path here that I'm working my way down from up there is where the cellar hole is, and the road takes this little right curve. So I went up the straight cut, started coming down, and just lit up my detector right over there, and uh, it didn't take long to get that ox knob. And it was real shallow, and you can see the root, and this is a trail that bikes use, and it was a good mid-70s tone, so I wasn't completely sure what it was going to be since, you know, it could be quad junk, but... That's a tightly packed ox knob. Two or three of these this year. It's a, it's a good year for ox knobs for me. I don't dig them too often. Yeah, beating my way down this road. Nothing since uh, that ox knob, but I got a surface find that's pretty interesting. Got that big beauty there. That's nice. This nuts off a, uh, a red tailed hawk. We got a bunch of hawks that live on this ridge that I'm on right now, and that was right on the trail. Yeah, it'll come home with me. Nice. I'm doing a little wandering, wandering here and there. Um, that's the cellar hole up there. You can see the uh, raised lip of it. And the well was on the other side for orientation. And I'm probably not about 25 feet or so away from it. And here's my next little target. Oops. Very shallow. I'm trying to get an ID on it. Might be a little uh, too hard for... Oops. Need the phone to focus. I don't know if I do a little drawer pull. It's awful heavy for a button. Maybe it's just a little adornment, a little saddle, a little saddle piece. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Let's see what else the place has got. This place is just a little disappointing, um, but it's a very unusual spot. Uh, when I was here last year, uh, I was digging tombacks and other things I could I could date to the 1700s. Um, all the way up to that silver pin, which late 1800s, early 1900s. I'll put a picture of uh, my roundup from last year here, right over there next to me. Um, I've been here an hour. I saved you from shotgun shells and just junk. Uh, just loud screechy tones that are big iron and other stupid things. Because I know you don't want to watch them. Um, so I came back to the cellar hole here. And this is where I found all my finds. 
uh, which is kind of unusual for as much as this property was used, there should be more fines. And the farther I get away from the cellar hole, it just gets real quiet and I don't get it. These are all worked areas and it's nice and flat. So, like I said, I was going to do at the beginning of the video, uh, that one side of the cellar hole that had a lot of deadfall, I moved it all out of the way best I could. Um, let's take a look at what I did and let's see if my work pays off. And there it is, all cleaned out. I should stand on the other side, but I think the lighting's better uh, on this side. Well's right there, and you got a big stump between the well and the beginning of the cellar hole. And this was all laid in with a bunch of deadfall. Uh, not as easy to see, but I cleaned all out in here too. And along the edge of the cellar hole, I rolled as much of these logs down into the uh, bottom as much as I could. And that'll give me a little more swing area right where it collapsed in. So, cross my fingers, let's see what I got. If not, I'm going to take a little snack break because it's uh, mid-afternoon. That was a bust. All that work for nothing. Spent 20 minutes in, in there. I just cleaned all that out and didn't get anything for it. Pulled some big iron out of the way hoping there'd be some tones underneath it but so I think I'd take a little break here have a snack um, I only came out here around noon it's about four hours out here because I wasn't sure if it was gonna produce or not and it's not so let's, uh, let's have a snack well I put in about three hours up around the cellar hole I got nothing here man what a crazy sight I know it was here for a while I'm not finding enough to, to justify all that time place must have been hit before but they left some really loud VDI targets around the hole that I got on my first trip here. Yeah. Uh, there's some stone walls that are downhill from the property. I'm going to start wandering out. Uh, I get budgeted myself four hours and I'm on three. It'll give me one more hour to monkey around down there see if there's anything else. Let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Alright, I've had enough punishment for one day. That's the wall that ends behind me nothing but this is just a marker wall down on the lower end of the property there's a little corner there and it heads off in that direction nothing holy moly but it's good to be back out in the woods again uh, if you're seeing this video <laughs> it means I'm still alive uh, I got some more hunts coming up once every weekend uh, next weekend I'm going out with a uh, somebody I haven't met we're gonna do uh, permission that he's got and hopefully we can get something good on video from both of us uh, Thanks for watching, guys. I apologize. I think it was two fines today. Ouch. And we'll see you uh, hopefully before long on the next one.